This episode is sponsored by Daily Puzzles. The Black Friday sale is on now and ends soon. Details at the end of the video. And carry that speed all the way down here. How fast does he want to go? World Cup racers. How good are they really? Sure, they can go fast on tracks they've practiced on for two days with an uplift, riding cutting edge bikes tuned for each track by professional mechanics with all the best componentry. But what if we take away all those luxuries? What if we take the tallest guy in the sport and put him on the smallest bike I can find? One that's over a decade old, with puny 26 inch wheels, and make him ride a track that he's never ridden before. Can he still beat me on my modern enduro bike with all the bells and whistles? Let's find out. Okay, let's meet our pro. Ben Cathro is head of the Pink Bike Downhill Racing Team, and he's a video producer and downhill World Cup rider himself. His racing accolades speak for themselves. Most relevant for this challenge, however, is his height. Ben is a right lanky b Six foot seven to be exact, making it very difficult for Kim to frame up these shots without making me look ridiculous. I told him to just show up and prepare to be humbled. He had no idea what's in store. Let's show Ben his bike. Right, I'm not allowed to use my bike. Not allowed to use your bike. Why did I bring it? Uh, just for beauty shots. <laughs> so genuine, for the viewers, I have no idea what this is. It looks small. But... <laughs> <laughs> uh, no way! <laughs> I used to ride one of these. <laughs> I genuinely had one of these. It was a little bit bigger. <laughs> and it's the size... Size 14. A 14, you, you didn't do small, medium, didn't large. Do small, but that so that's, is... that's 14 inches, and that's how big it is. <laughs> yeah. That's like a foot shorter. That's a genuine <laughs> Cathro foot shorter. <laughs> <laughs> it goes round. <laughs> so, have you ever ridden an orange before? Yeah, I used to ride for orange um, in 2011 when this bike came out. Yeah. I, I rode for orange. You ever like placed top 10 at a World Cup on an orange? Potentially, you've done some research. <laughs> uh, so do you want some stats? Yes, hit me with some stats. This is a 2011 Orange 5, the trail bike of its day. But its day was oh so long ago. Since then, we've went through not one, but two wheel size increases, and bikes have gotten a lot longer. Do you want to hear what the reach is? 390. Yeah. <laughs> is it 390? Yeah. No way! 390 millimetres is really, really short. By modern standards, most manufacturers would call this an extra, extra small. Cathro rides up to an extra, extra large. This, my nipple is here. <laughs> Go on, swing, <laughs> swing a leg over. So that's an astonishing six sizes smaller than what he's used to. Even for me, this bike feels like a toy compared to my Deviate Highlander. It's also very old and, well, it's had a hard paper round, let's say that. But those forks basically don't work. 10 years of hard graft, never serviced. The gears skip and it doesn't have tubeless tires, so we are running them at almost 40 PSI. The bars are less than 700 millimeters wide, but the shock is quite new. Worryingly for me, Ben seemed to be right at home on his new toy bike immediately. It doesn't look as small as I thought it would. <laughs> oh! I like this bike. Oh. <laughs> it's like a BMX. <laughs> You're allowed a couple of things. Okay. I'll grab them from the truck. To keep things reasonable, Ben was allowed as long as he liked to fettle with the bike with my basic toolkit. So where, where are your Allen keys? Is it just the ones that are just littered around <laughs> in different shelves? <laughs> Duct tape, some rusted pliers. <laughs> I'm not sure what we're at, to be honest. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so he put 10 PSI in the shock and called it good to go. Okay. Yeah, I'd run it. Just your uh, brakes? Nah, they feel about right. Right, let's hit the trails. Here's the script. Fastest down the hill wins. I, 
the noob who's been riding bikes for 15 years, get my own bike and I get to choose the track. Ben, the professional, gets the teeny orange and one practice run. The winner gets the sweet football trophy. That's all they had in stock. Since I know the track, I told Ben he could follow me down for his one and only practice run. As expected, Ben looks outrageous, but surprisingly controlled. In this footage, it looks as though I'm actually pulling away from Ben. Could this be the day I finally break into the upper echelons of biking? <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's kind of gnarly. <laughs> it's not gnarly. <laughs> but then there's moments where I'm just like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's easier to make mistakes than this. Yeah. Just it's so twitchy. But it's actually really fun because <laughs> I feel it's exciting. You know when people talk about riding under biking themselves, this is about as under biked <laughs> as I could get. And it, yeah. You're going along a straight bit of track and you're just like, -da 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 -da, and I'm behind you going, whoa, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yes, I, I feel like I can go fast. Uh, it's just how many mistakes I make. Yeah. Mm. All right, time for race runs. I was up first and I was feeling confident. And here we go. I've been riding this track all season and well, it's my favorite track. I'm riding a 29er with a high pivot, which is like butter compared to what Ben's got. Oof, a couple of racy pedal strokes in there. That looks quite clean and tidy, no drama so far. All right, here you can see me being a bit rough in this corner, coming in a bit sharp and losing a lot of speed, having to put in a couple of pedal strokes here to regain that. And that lack of speed is being carried into this section here, which looks really slow, oh dear. All right, as we go over the road section, things get a bit more technical and this is where I think I'll have the advantage over Ben and hopefully I can put some time in the bank. Here's that tricky corner that always gets me. Yep, that was quite messy. However, now we're on to my favorite bit of the track, the wide open section. This is where I think I'm fastest and where the big bike will definitely help me. Into the trees here, I still think I've got the advantage because I've got the big wheels which allow me to pedal over this chunky stuff better than Ben with those tiny little 26 inch wheels. Overall, pretty happy with this run. Few mistakes, but nothing to write home about. I'll take it. <laughs> right, time for the big man on the wee bike. And uh, Cathro isn't feeling confident. I think I think Mike I think Mike might take it. Yeah. It's scary. <laughs> and Cathro is off and he looks ridiculous. Pumping those tiny wheels into the ground. Looking smooth here. Interestingly, didn't pedal coming out of that corner where I did, probably carrying enough speed as it was. He's making this bike work for him anyway. This does look much smoother than I am, but smooth isn't always fast, only the split will tell. And holy mackerel, he's four seconds up after the first split. Look at how he's getting around these corners. He's chucking that tiny bike around. Fighting for grip here with those tiny wheels, hopping over roots to find it, and carrying good speed over the road. Oh, he's really opening it up here. Look at look at this. Oh, <laughs> getting a bit loose there. And look at that corner. He just chucks it around there like it's nothing. And he's extended his lead to over five seconds here as we go into the berm section. I've noticed Cathro pedals much less than I do. He carries so much more speed around the corners that he doesn't need to top it up in between. And oh, that looks rough on that tiny bike, but he holds it. Right, we're in the tight section now. Let's see who gets on. Oh, he hops that route into the corner there. Very nice. And he's on the gas here. He's looking for a win. Cathro on a stormer here, unless he's made a mistake. And he crosses the line. 
Jeez, he must have really pushed that bottom section. One minute, 41 seconds. 16 seconds faster than me. Good run? <laughs> yeah. Good. All right. Right, we're going to compare times. Yeah. In second place, <laughs> with a time of 1 minute, 57 Under seconds. Two. Mike Boyd. <laughs> <laughs> So there we have it. Even hampered by a bike that fits so poorly and over a decade old, Cathro still smoked me. The mechanics, pre-production components, the carbon and titanium, they're just there to save the milliseconds off at the World Cup. What separates us normies from World Cup racers is the years of training, crashing, practicing, racing that they've got behind them. There's levels to this game. By the way, Cathro did another run on his brand new Mega Tower just for fun and knocked another 12 seconds off that time. The Daily Puzzles Black Friday sale is live right now and ends on Tuesday the 29th of November. That means there's a 25% discount site-wide on everything. Daily Puzzles is the number one speed cubing and twisty Rubik's Cube style puzzle store in the world, stocking over 1,000 puzzles. They have every variation you can think of of twisty style puzzles. If you have never solved a Rubik's Cube before, trust me, try it. See what it does for your brain. It's a fantastic New Year's resolution to stay sharp and you can get a head start with a discount in the sale this year. And if you're a seasoned pro, they also have all those fancy speed cubes for shaving seconds off your PB. These puzzles make really great gifts too. One I'd recommend for younger cubers is the 2x2 or the Pyraminx. The latter can be solved intuitively. But one of the best gifts I can think of is the GAN mosaic sets. This allows you to create pictures by solving cubes like the one in my studio. You can get a 36 cube mosaic from GAN that comes in this mountable frame and you can connect them together to create even larger images. They ship everywhere in the world, shipping starts from $5 and the code Black Friday will get you 25% off your order. They have a huge inventory but they're still likely to sell out quickly so hurry and take advantage of that discount. By checking out Daily Puzzles, you'll also be helping to support this show. So check out the link below in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.